a lot of the courses that I'm taking are not like traditional like put this in a, the, a box of a certain subject that you would in high school. Hi, my name is Karina McCosco from Academic Influence and I'm here with Miriam who is the International Breakthrough Challenge winner and you did your um, video about quantum tunnels. So first we just want to hear how did you get interested in your t this topic and why did you choose to do your video about this? Hi, yeah. Um, so I started off uh, researching about entropy for my video. I knew that I wanted to stick with a more physics related topic. Um, but as I was watching something about entropy, it very briefly mentioned quantum tunneling, like very, very briefly. And I was like, oh, I've never heard about this. Like you hear about other quantum phenomena, but I've never heard about tunneling specifically. And I searched it up and immediately went down this rabbit hole of, of articles and whatnot and thought, okay, I think I prefer uh, quantum tunneling as, as a topic and to uh, make a video out of it since I, you know, it caught my attention and it was very intriguing. So I thought I could share that with others. Wow, so you just found it really interesting and you wanted other people to be able to learn about it too? Yes, <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. And so you said that you knew you wanted to do something in physics. So now as a, you're a freshman in college, right? Yeah. So now do you think you're going to major in something in physics? Um, that's my plan right now. I am undeclared, but I'm taking that track for now and we'll see uh, where that takes me. I'm not, I'm not well, totally committed to anything, but that's the plan for now. Well, that's <laughs> awesome. Well, after this, you'll be interviewed by a physics professor, so that'll be interesting. And how did you get into physics? Why did, why is that kind of what you're thinking of doing? Um, I knew, like, for a very long time, like, since I was really young, that I wanted to do something in science. I wasn't entirely sure what. And um, in high school, when you started taking physics, I realized that a lot of the questions that I asked, like, in general about science, kind of tend to boil down to physics in some way. So uh, it just seemed like, you know, the, the right path to try out. Wow, that's awesome. And so looking forward, what do you think is kind of, what do you think your plans are going forward? Um, for now, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to try out, see what uh, physics research is like, you know, as an undergrad and see how that goes. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really open to trying things and I, I'm not entirely sure, uh, if I do go into the sciences, then I, th or if I, uh, stick with that, which is very likely, uh, I'll think, I'm also thinking about, like, science communication and how to, like, integrate that into whatever I do. So, yeah, some, something like that. Wow, that's amazing. And so as a freshman in college, what do you think has been, like, the biggest, transition for you or maybe the best thing transitioning or the hardest thing hmm I think one of the best things uh probably uh the amount of options you have as to like what to explore because it, it's really not not like high school <laughs> and um I I find that really interesting like a lot of the courses that I'm taking are not like traditional like put this in a the a box of a certain subject that you would in high school um and they like get really interdisciplinary which which I enjoy wow that's awesome so just being able to choose classes that aren't your standard like math or science or English yeah yeah and we've heard that from a lot of professors is like high school you kind of have to do the basics you know get your good foundations, but then when you get to college, you can get into like the really interesting things that you actually enjoy and are actually passionate about. So that is really good to hear. And a lot of the people who watch this are young people like you or <laughs> like me. So what advice would you have for them as somebody who won this big competition and just as a student who's gone through almost a semester now of uh, your first year of college? Hmm. Um... If I were to give advice about the competition specifically, I would say uh, don't try to make something that you think will win, because uh, quote unquote, like, will win. I mean, that wasn't my goal when I was doing this, uh, but obviously it turned out something pretty crazy. Um, I would say try to focus on 
really, uh, what captivates you? Like, what really makes you uh, want to research this, the topic that you're interested in or, or uh, whatever you, you plan on making your video on? And to uh, really not be afraid to experiment or, or to even participate in the competition. Because when I, I mean, I knew about the Breakthrough Junior Challenge for more than five years when I uh, participated, but I never did it until last year. So that was my first time doing it. And, and it was because I felt intimidated by other videos. So if you're on the fence about the competition, just do it. You you have no idea. And uh, w regardless of where your video ends up, it is something, uh, it's an experience you won't forget. You learn so much about uh, ta boiling down a difficult science topic into something that anyone can understand, or you just learn about the content itself and you find it really interesting, or you learn things about communication and video editing. There's, there's just so much uh, you can gain from that experience. And as a, as a university student, um, I feel like, I feel like, you know, it's still the beginning and I can't say too much, <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but, but to be aware of, uh, I guess, uh, time, <laughs> it, it's very different from high school. Yeah. So like time management, I'm sure is like completely different. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And in terms of the actual video, just going for it, you know, not being afraid to submit it, that is awesome. Did you have like video editing experience before you did this? Um, I had like very, uh, I guess like self-taught um, experience just from making videos at home or uh, like just fun personal videos or uh, school projects, although the school projects weren't like focused on like video editing, it was right. just a project about something else and then you might make a video about it. Um, so in that sense, yes. Um, but actually one of the things that made me intimidated about the competition was how advanced everyone else's video editing was. And then I knew that I, I had like very basic uh, software and even at some point not the right uh, devices. It was really kind of um, not ideal. Like my computer was very broken when I was trying to edit on that. And I had um, my friend help me on his iPad since he had a certain app he could edit, help me edit with. And his iPad was like all cracked and broken. And the screen <laughs> was like, it was really, really difficult. But you know, you can really make it work. And it's, the competition is not about video editing. It's about science communication. So if you focus on that um, and you are very uh, focused on really the communication and uh, deliverance, then I think that's the priority. Well, and I think that is a great place to leave off. So basically for this competition, don't worry about winning. Focus on something you're passionate about, and you definitely do not have to be a pro at video editing, <laughs> clearly, to yeah. win. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. It was really, really interesting um, hearing about this and just talking with you. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.